who am I? Now for you to get to know me, <clears throat> I'm Navjot. That's who I am. <laughs> but yes, I am Navjot from Shillong. I have a background of law, but I have shifted fields or rather like jumped from law to yoga to Ayurveda. And the question of who is I is, it's always been my main motivation of knowing more of learning more because we live in a world where we thrive on data and information there's data information knowledge wisdom i want more knowledge i've always wanted and looked for more wisdom than what is provided to us or isn't i don't know but uh, yes that's who i am i'm also uh, very enthusiastic about gardening. I feel plants, you can say, because it's an essence, you know. You have to love everything around you and it starts from yourself. It starts from who you are. And it's the little things around that make um, a huge difference. Gardening inspires me. It has taught me so much. Nature has taught me so much. I think that's why Green Am also came into the picture because of uh, Momo, my love. <laughs> yes, my love, Momo. Um, but yeah, like considering <clears throat> where our principles lie when it comes to nature, um, that's how Momo and I have always connected. We've always been one without really being one, if you get what I'm saying. Um, So when Momo started this journey of sustainable living, of recycling things, of, you know, making this world a better place by just doing what you can on a very personal base level, that's what I was doing. But in different fields, my field included yoga and Ayurveda, um, more sustainable products, because Ayurveda is all about going back to your roots. You know, the recipes, the nuske, we can say in Hindi, the the type of things, the kind of recipes our forefathers have used, our ancestors have used, you know, your grandmother has used. There's a reason they've used it. There's a reason it's been passed down from generation to generation to generation. You have to understand <clears throat> But there's nothing beyond nature like that's it and if we cannot respect the mother that we truly come from then we lose touch with our roots and if you lose touch with your roots where do you really stand you don't really stand anywhere if you're not jar hil jayegi to peed kaise khada rahega nahi rahega na so your roots are where you come from so to connect to my roots, I went back to yoga and Ayurveda and it taught me so much. It taught me about the essence of me. You know, and apart from that essence of me, the I that we started this whole talk with. Um, it's an ongoing process. You know, when you start looking within you realize so many things, you know, little things here and there, um, little patterns in life. It's, it's, it's literally taught me the essence of being and sustainability. That's why it comes because, you know, if you love who you are and you live consciously, consciousness is here. So you have, once you touch it, you will touch it everywhere. You know, it's going to just like spread around because you will by default just live consciously. If you just start to take care of yourself, if you just start to live a little more consciously, it's not like, you know, don't use plastic at all or uh, don't drive cars because, you know, carbon monoxide or just in basic, you know, you have so many options in today's world options we talk about in green ammo the things we do in green ammo 
it takes time to actually understand where you come from even if you've lost touch with your roots you're not lost there are thousands like there are thousands and thousands of ancestors walking behind you that um they're always there nature is always there the essence of nature is always there all you have to do is just tap inside once and you'll It's a feeling I cannot describe, you know, that's why like so many little breaks in the middle when I'm just trying to explain something. But um, it's that little essence, you know, you start feeling it and it can't really be described because, you know, when there's a, there's a difference between thinking and thinking what you feel and feeling what you feel. Because of so much, you know, the monkey mind keeps yapping, yapping, yapping all the time. We're constantly thinking about what we're feeling and we forget to feel what we're feeling you have to step back you know look at a new leaf grow look at a new flower bloom how does that make you feel that is the essence you know you have to be present in every moment you know when you look when you're looking at the sky the thoughts in your head are like oh a beautiful cloud or oh, look at the shape of the cloud or oh, very beautiful blue sky or you know if it's cloudy then it's beautifully cloudy if it's if it's a sunset you're thinking about the colors of the sunset you're clicking a picture we forget to be in the moment we're trying too hard to like i don't know i think we just constipate our minds with <laughs> thinking too much it's a very slow process. Once you start being conscious in life, you'll see it not only affects you personally, but the, the decisions and the choices that you make around you will also change, will also just be diverted into a more conscious living. And we need to live consciously because do you not want to know, do you not want to feel, you know, that there's so much more there is so much more. Sustainability is... I don't understand why people need to tell you, you know, to be more sustainable, to be a little more conscious regarding your lives, regarding your decisions. Have we really fallen that far behind that someone needs to tell you? That, you know, let's take care of nature. Let's be a little more sustainable. Let's save a little bit of our resources for the future generation. Why is it? Why do you need to be reminded of it again and again? Galat baat hai. <laughs> you need to be present. Just be consciously present every moment. I think just being present consciously in every moment sorry for repeating the sentence twice but for me personally it's different it's beautiful it's it makes me feel content and do you not want to feel content there are very little changes in life that you have to make you don't have to kill yourself over and over again in your head no not you don't you do not need to no no you can little things in life can make so much of a difference um little things in life can pick up a hobby you know they say coloring is like meditation gardening for me is meditation sports for a few people can be a way of meditation but it's just like you know putting your thought there just being really, really conscious about, start with little things. Be conscious about little things in the beginning. Then you see those little things just like pile up one on top of the other and make the difference there is. And always remember, the only person that you can change in this world is no one but yourself. You have to start this journey within. You need to, there is no other way. There is no other way. <clears throat> you have to start 
you know, if you want different, uh, if you want a different outcome in life, if you're not happy with what you're doing, if you're not happy with the things around, you need to change. You need to do things differently. Your routine in the day needs to be different. Little changes in life, just tiny little changes and you'll see. Let's bring you more peace and more ideas with green ammo. I hope you guys um, try to make the little change. It's not that difficult, try one step at a time. Everything in life is one step at a time. <laughs>